Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video, the T on MPD and relationships here, y'all. Hey, everybody. To all of our new family members and new subscribers, hello, everybody. Welcome. And to my tribe and family at large, listen, y'all. Welcome back. Thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video, y'all. Listen. Thursday night, Thursday night, Thursday night. Listen, if let me just tell you something. When we go live every Thursday night, you don't want to miss Thursday nights. Thursday nights is where we take our healing to the next level. When I tell you, like I told y'all before, God visits us in a very special way. And the great thing about Thursday nights is you learn stuff that I can't necessarily give you on the videos every day, but it's necessary to your healing and your wholeness. You understand what I'm saying? So listen, y'all, I want y'all to be there on Thursday night. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd love to see you here, right here on the chat, all right? And of course, every time we drop a video on the channel, the goal of the day is 2.1K plus, 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 all right? If you rocks with your girl, if you rocks with your girl, hit that like button one time, one time, two times, all right? Hit that like button. Hit that like button. All right, y'all, let's jump into the topic of this video. I want to talk about the isolation, you know, why the narcissist has to keep you isolated. Y'all, let me tell you something. When we dealing with these birds right here, I want you all to really, really pay attention to this because this right here is going to help you understand why certain things happened, you know, and certain people were allowed into you know your circle when you were with with the narcissist and certain people had to be excluded from your circle you know when you were with the narcissist hopefully it's were all right but you know isolation can be a very lonely thing um the thing that the narcissist understands about isolation is that isolation typically gives them full control of the situation and the narrative. What they do, what they love to do in isolation and why they want full control of the situation and the narrative is because when they begin to gaslight you and, you know, you begin to doubt yourself, it basically makes them the God of that situation. I mean, they, because let's, let's, I mean, let's keep it real. You know, most of us thought that we were really loving them, but how can you love someone when you don't love yourself? So basically, you know, during the situation, what we thought was love was really just full blown idolatry. You understand what I'm saying? How do I know that? Because there's no way that you can human. There's no way that it's humanly possible to love to love someone when you don't love yourself. How do you know what love is? You have to know what love is uh, by loving yourself first. But first of all, you got to love the creator, the creator, loving him and having a relationship with him teaches us how to love ourselves. In turn, we know how to love other people. He teaches us how to love other people. And so I just don't believe that the creator is going to give you a type of love to love someone, you know, and to be in a relationship with someone or addiction ship that's going to abuse you and misuse you. OK, I just don't believe that. I believe that, you know, idolatry can do that. And, and idolatry, the thing about idolatry is that it looks a lot like love. And, and, and people will say, well, I just really felt like I love them. First off, let me say this. Love is not about a feeling. OK, love is I need y'all to hit that like button because I'm going to teach you something right here. You must understand that true, genuine, authentic love is not about a feeling, okay? Emotions are temporal. Emotions are fleeting. They're, they're, I mean, they're fleeting and temporal at best. L real love is about a knowing. Oh, I need y'all to hit that like button and hear what I'm saying. Real love is about a knowing. It's not about a feeling. How do I know that? Because real love is an action word. Real love is determined by the way that a person treats you. It's determined by the fact that their actions 
actions are their talk is like their walk is lining up with their talk you know just that, like how the creator loves us how do we know that he loves us because he wakes us up every day he gives you he gives you provision he gives you joy in your soul this is what real love is about and anything that is not pro- producing or it's not enhancing the joy in your life that the almighty creator gives you that's not love that's not love and so what happens is you are now uh, you are now isolated and you're in full you, this is what they want to do. They want to isolate you so you can be in that full-blown idolatry. But don't get it twisted. They are idolizing you too. Because a narcissist doesn't have love to give. Let's be clear. They don't. But when they can keep you separated and isolated, it just makes it easier for them to enforce their demonic agenda on your life. And to straight drive you out of your mind. Oh, that's what they want to do. Oh, they, that's what they want to do. But see, the isolation allows them to do that. And y'all, and whether you want to realize this or not, the narcissist, even to a certain degree, wanted to keep you isolated. And, you know, isolated in certain instances away from even their own flying monkey and support system. Why? Because they acted one way with their family and their flying monkeys. And they were one, they were a completely different person with you at home. That they everything about a narcissist is strategic and it is intentional. You gotta recognize the spirit that you are dealing with because anytime you're dealing with a demonic entity, it always wants to pull you away from the power source. That's why you stop praying, reading your word, going to church, being around people that can spiritually influence you as far as keeping up a right relationship with the creator. The narcissist had to kick them people out of your life first. Okay. Anybody that could get through to you, anybody that could to uh could actually you know pull you back from emotion and put you back into the realm of logic those were the people that the narcissist hated the most i don't know why you're out with that person i don't know why you talk to that person this is the thing they tell you because you know they just jealous of you they jealous of our relationship they don't want you to have nobody they don't want you to have anybody in their life because they're miserable even though if the person the person might be in a relationship themselves but the narcissist or they may not but the narcissist is always going to try to make you believe that these people are jealous of you and you want to know why they want to make you uh, believe that they want they they want you to be isolated but they always want to make you believe that these people are jealous of you why because they are bam that's revelation all they're doing is projecting onto those other people who they really are and a lot of us sat up and believe that because by that time the trauma bond was setting in you under a whole spell you under hypnosis they had you right there in that place of isolation so and 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 the thing about isolation and and when you are with a narcissist it feels like you're in a total state of desolation i mean you just feel like it's just desolation all around you why do you why did you feel like that because half of you your finances was leaving left right and center your your mind you your your thought processes were clouded you couldn't figure out your up from down right from left Okay, and then the people that you could usually rely on to get, you know, to speak wisdom into your life and to talk to you, those people have been kicked out. That demon came in there and ran all of your good support people out of your life. Isolation. They have to do it. They have to isolate you because their agenda doesn't work otherwise. I told you when a spirit comes into a person, it has to change something about the consciousness of that person. But the isolation is absolutely key. Why? Why is it so key that you be isolated? It is because when the narcissist is with you, the only influence that they want over your life is theirs. Hear me when I say that. The only influence over your life that they want is their influence that's it 
Why? Because they are very selfish, self-centered individuals with a demonic agenda to completely destroy you. Isolation allows them to do that. You're pulled away from your power source of the creator. And then, and all of this is systematically done. And even if you were still going to church and doing all of that with the narcissist, you noticed your relationship was just off. Why? Because you not only had your, your connection with the most high been destroyed, but your connection with yourself was off. You weren't even connected to yourself. You didn't even, I know y'all going to testify in the comments. There was sometimes it during this, this isolation that the narcissist had you in that you just even didn't even know who you were. You didn't, you, you were trying to figure out what, okay, I just need to know what just happened to me. I really need to know why, why do I feel so alone? Yeah, that's what the isolation does. I need y'all to hit that like button. I really need you to hit that like, because this is the information that you need. You got to be isolated. Otherwise their demonic plan doesn't work. It's too many hands and too many minds at work. They don't want to do this. They want to show where there's only one person in the audience. That's you. That's the show that they want. They don't want anybody else around you. They, they don't want an audience. They want the only person that they want is you. You have to be isolated because isolation gives them power. Isolation gives them the authority to be your puppet master to do everything that they want to do to you and this is just how the kingdom of darkness does it you know i'm gonna tell you something give you some revelation whenever people start to have and you and, and some of y'all i know y'all gonna testify but when people start to have uh, uh ideations of not being here anymore and they are the reason why they're not that they, they they would be the reason why they're not on this planet anymore flipping the uh the life switch off of themselves the number one thing that they will tell you and this is how you know that what the narcissist is doing is demonically driven the number one thing that they will tell you or the three top things that they will tell you is that they felt hopeless they felt isolated and they felt like uh, that hopeless, isolated, and they felt like no one cared. They felt completely disconnected from the entire world. Was that not some of the things that you experienced in the relationship with the narcissist? I'm telling you, because the main goal of the narcissist is for your life to be, and the desolation and the destruction of it to be on their. They they would see that as a trophy in their trophy case. Come on here. It's sick. It's sick. But that to them is a win. I'm telling you, that is a win to them. Because this is the type of demon, this is the deep demonic agenda of these backwards walking giraffes. I'm telling you what it is. Wake up. I'm telling you, this isolation that they, that they, and it is so systematically and subtly done, they get you working against your own folks that love and care about you. And they let you know, oh, they don't like you. They jealous of you. They want what you got. What do I have? Nothing. Nothing. This bird don't have anything to offer you but devastation and destruction. Family, listen to me when I tell you. If anybody comes into your life wanting to isolate you, that's a red flag. Why is it a red flag, Telsha? Why is that a red flag? The narcissist wants to destroy all of the relationships around you by through isolation. Because when they when they get to enacting their abuse and that that trauma bond that that devaluation stage is rocking and reeling, they don't want you to have anybody to run to. Nobody. All gates are shut down. They try to make you burn bridges and everything else, just like they do. They don't want you to have anyone to run to. That isolation 
uh, carries out that agenda for them. Because if you have nobody to run to, then the only thing you can do is stay there and deal with the, the, the uh, deal with the abuse and the humiliation. And the devil is a liar. The devil is a whole liar. No, no, no. When somebody does, when somebody comes into your life and their main agenda is to run everybody away from you, run from that person. That's a red flag. Recognize what that is, family. I'm telling you, y'all pass it. Y'all hit that like button and pass this off to some people that can use this because this is some good information. It's people going through that right now. It's going. They going through it right now. So, family, I wanted to get this out here for you. Y'all, please take care of yourselves. Be safe out there. Um, do something nice for yourselves, okay? And I will see you all on the next video, family. And I will see you all heal and whole at the top. I love you all. Shalom, family. Peace.